Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Juan with Tinker Garage and I'm gonna be installing a um, trailer hitch that I found from the garage, or not garage, from the junkyard into my truck. Don't mind that, that's actually for another project that I'm doing, but let's walk over here. All right guys, as you can see, this is the trailer hitch. Like I said, I checked it for cracks, made sure it was good. Only issue was right here. There was, you can see where it was dented. I um, ended up throwing a little bit of primer. I'll put some black paint. Um, I scrubbed it down. Yeah. So, let's get underneath here. So these are the bolts you're gonna need to remove. See that, let's get you up in there. Those two bolts there. The nuts on there on the other side, they're actually welded to the frame. So you don't have to worry about that like putting a nut up there unless those bolts and walls are broken then then you might have to put like a vice grip or another wrench up there to get it done but these are the bolts i can see they're actually pretty rusted so i'm gonna probably clean these up on my um on my bench um and then probably put some loctite on here just to make sure that they don't rattle loose or they don't vibrate loose so to get these bolts out, you used a 13 16th wrench. I used an impact wrench I was able to get. Only issue is on my bumper, I had a um, a ball. And as you can see, this ball was rusted. So a little bit of penetrating oil, monkey wrench or pipe wrench, and then just a breaker bar. Um, this might not pertain to you because it depends on if you have a ball in there or not, but I use an inch and an eighth socket to get it done. Like I said, I set it with some penetrating oil. All right, like I said, I, I, you, I squirted it with some penetrating oil, let it sit there for a good 15, 20 minutes, came back and just started yanking on it and it finally broke loose. Um, <clears throat> that angle I was gonna use is maybe um, I have a little propane torch you can probably heat it up to see if, if that didn't work. So, but it worked. So now let's go clean those bolts. All right, guys, now that I, sorry, ooh, I got close. So now that I cleaned them up, um, I'm gonna spray them with some, um, just some paint, especially from here on out. Sorry, I'm not trying to flip you off, but from here on out, just to protect them, just to get a little bit more protecting. As you see, they were really rusted, even though it doesn't rain that much here in Arizona, but for some reason they were rusted. So just hang on, let me grab some paint. So my old paint nozzle is shut because I didn't clean it. Let me see if this works. This one. Nope, that's not work. We're gonna have to scratch that. Screw it. Let's try a different paint. We'll do a maroon red. No, it's not black, but it'll work. Cool. Now we just let that dry. All right, guys. Time to install this uh, tow hitch. Um, it can be heavy. <clears throat> so just note to you guys, you might need somebody to help you. Um, so be careful. And Bear with me while I try to put it in. <laughs> All 
So what I'm doing is putting one bolt in first on one side. I think I can paint them kind of red so you can see it. So I have the first bolt up there just so I can hang it and then I get the other bolt on the other side. This is kind of bent in so it might be a struggle for me to squish it in here so bear with me. See if we can, are you recording still? Yes, you are, okay. So this bumper has a bottom lip. And there's a flange, as you can see right here, that needs to go underneath that. So you have to put it at a weird angle and kind of rock it in place. Because if you see, if you follow this tube, it's a round tube. And that edge there, you kind of have to go around it. Keto, so I can't have anything. So, yeah, it sucks. But anyways, so yeah. So now it's hanging on with the two bolts. So now I'm gonna get the other two bolts, the back bolts. And I'm gonna lock those in. I am gonna use Loctite. Um, Loctite that I'm gonna use is the blue Loctite, not the red Loctite. Because the red Loctite, I'm worried that um, that. That shit is too strong, and then I'm gonna have to get a torch and cut it and all this other shit, and I don't want to do that. So, so we'll just do we'll just do blue Loctite because if anything, I just have to get a, a breaker bar or a longer breaker bar to break that seal. You know what I mean? All right, torch time. going on a little longer than I thought it would but just bear with me guys oh. like I said I just want to make sure these things don't come up Undone by vibration, and before you know it, you lose your toilet trailer hitch or trailer because your tow hitch popped off. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. Almost done. Now, 
I need to add a bolt that comes to this top bumper down to the hitch itself. So, only thing is, there's a lot of space, so I gotta make sure I have enough washers so I don't pull this bumper forward and smash it with the bolt that's gonna come up from here. from a pet bar. All right guys, so I installed the tow, tow hitch. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to get it done. I did have to finagle it a little bit just cause it was a little bent on one side, but it really wasn't that hard. The tools were nothing, it was one socket. I used an impact wrench so that was, that helped. So you'd need either a ratchet or an extension, but it was really quick and easy. Like I said, it was junkyard gold for me cause I was looking for a trailer hitch. Um, and they're normally about 200 bucks online, uh, 180 to 200 bucks, I got it for 36 bucks. So can't really beat it um so yeah so if you find one put one on um but yeah hope you like this video 
Um, I'm gonna try to edit everything. I was having some weird issues with my camera, so I apologize about that. Um, but if you have any comments, uh, leave them in the, um, sorry, I'm talking too fast. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll try to address them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.